I was once a leper. I know it's hard to tell that now. (laughs) But at one time, I was a leper. In many ways, I still am, I suppose. We all are. But there was a time for me when it was particularly poignant. When I was 15 years old, I needed to begin my sophomore year in high school only a couple of weeks after major brain surgery. And that meant going to school with a completely shaved head, which doesn't seem like a big deal now because having a shaved head is about the coolest haircut you can have. But back in the late 70s, it was a little freakish. But making it much worse, was the fact that I still had stitches over the incision on my head, and it was still quite swollen up. My entire head looked like a baseball that had been left out in the rain far too long. It was roughed up. I looked and felt like Frankenstein's monster. As I went to school, I heard people whisper. They stared at me. Some of them called me names. But mostly, mostly my schoolmates just kept their distance and stayed away. I was thankful to be alive. I was thankful not to have any brain damage a point which my sisters argue to this day. (laughs) But I hated feeling like an outcast. I hated feeling like I didn't fit in and didn't belong. No matter what we do, we can't soften that hurt, and it hurts at any age. But when you're 15 years old, it's just awful. It's terrible. I felt like the leper in our story. Leprosy in ancient times referred to many different things, but overall, it always referred to an outward sign of what was perceived to be a spiritual problem. The the ancients didn't draw a distinction between physical health and spiritual health. For them, it was one and the same. It was all intertwined. So to be unclean was to be out of sorts with God. When the leper comes forward and says to Jesus, if you wish, you can make me clean, what he is in fact saying is, you can make me whole. And isn't that really what we all want? To be made whole? And Jesus, of course, looks at him and says, I do will it. I do will it. And then he reaches out with his compassionate hand and touches him. The miracle in this story is not that the disease left the man. That's really just a metaphor for us. The miracle is that the guy was made whole again. The miracle was that in mind and spirit, he was reunited and connected with the oneness of God's life-giving love. And that is a miracle. And whether it happens in a moment and an instant, or it happens over the course of several days, or weeks, or months, or years, or it takes our entire life journey, when we are made whole and connected with the infinite life-giving love that is God, It is a miracle. And this is God's will for us. As Jesus said, I do will it. This is God's will that we be made whole. That we all find the love for ourselves and the love for one another. 
that will make us whole. And we can do that. But to do it, we have to do what Jesus did. We have to reach out and see beyond the leprosy. We have to reach across the distances that divide us and raise each other up in our brokenness. And we can do that. And when we do, it's a miracle. We can do it at work. We can do it at school. We can do it in our neighborhoods. Shoot, we can do it right here. And isn't that really the point of being here with each other? To reach out and raise each other up in our brokenness. There's a second part to my story. I had a classmate, a classmate named Paul who was everything I wasn't. He was good looking, super smart, really popular, Everyone liked him. And Paul decided I should be on the student council. Now elections were held in the spring, not in the fall. But we had a backdoor provision at my school whereby if you collected 100 signatures from other students, you would serve as a representative at large on the student council. Well, I wasn't about to go approach anyone for a signature. Looking the way I looked, feeling the way I felt about myself, sensing that I scared people, feeling shy and broken, I wasn't about to go approach anyone for a signature. So Paul did it. Paul took the papers, and he went around and he collected signatures from nearly one-third of the entire student body. Paul reached out and touched me and raised me up in my brokenness. And we can do that for each other. We can do that for ourselves and for each other. And whether whether it's as simple as a momentary smile or it's being with each other week after week, year after year, walking the journey together or spending our entire lives journeying toward that wholeness. When we reach out, raise each other up and connect with the love the life-giving love that is God. It is a miracle, and it is beautiful.